गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सर डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ सी सी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री जे एस एस आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स डिग्री कॉलेज गोका दिस कॉलेज इज अफिलेटेड टू रणिक चंदम यूनिवर्सिटी बेलगाम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑर्डर ऑफ ए रिएक्शन एंड मॉलिकुलरिटी ऑफ ए रिएक्शन एंड derivation of rate constant of a second order reaction when the concentration of two reactant are equal that is a equals b today we will discuss expression for off like paired of a second order reaction what is off like paired the time required for the concentration of a reactant to decrease to half its initial value that is called as a half life period consider a general second order reaction that is two a gives products at a time t t equals 0 small a is the initial concentration of reactant a and the product is 0 after time interval t equals t of there is an Half of the products will be formed. That is, x is equal to a by 2. Then the remaining concentration of the reactant will be reduces to half. That is, a by 2. Then the rate equation for second order reaction is given by k is equal to 1 by t into x divided by a into a minus x. Put t is equal to t of and x is equal to a by 2 in the above equation. K is equal to 1 by t of into a by 2 divided by a into a minus a by 2. Next, here 2 is taken as a LCM. Then the what happens in the equation? K is equal to 1 by t of into a by 2 divided by a into 2a minus divided by 2. Here, what happens? 2a minus a is a. Then the what happens? The equation k is equal to 1 by t of into a by 2 divided by a into a by 2. Next is a by 2. A by 2 is cancelled. Then the what happens? The equation k is equal to 1 by t of into a. Then t of is Written in left hand side, what happens? The equation T of is equals to one divided by K. This equation is called of like period of second order reaction. Next, uh, we will come to the determination of order of reaction. For the determination of order of reaction, we take two methods. First one is of like period method. Second one is differential equation method. First, we will consider off-life period method. Off-life for off-life period method, we have we know that the off-life period for the first order reaction is independent of the initial concentration of A. For second order, off-life period is inversely proportional to initial concentration of A, that is one divided by concentration of A. For nth order reaction, half life is inversely proportional to the concentration of a to the power of n minus one. That is, one divided by concentration of a to the power of n minus one. To calculate the order of reaction by this method, we have to consider two different concentration of the reactant. That is, initial concentration of two reactant. Will be taken as concentration of A1 and concentration of A2. Then, for the initial concentration of the reactant, uh, uh, concentration of A1 and concentration of A2, uh, the time is required for the completion of half of the reaction. That will be taken as a T1 and T2. For nth order reaction, is it is written as T1 is inversely proportional to 1 divided by concentration of A1 to the power of n minus 1. This is equation number one. N is order of reaction. For T2, 
T2 is inversely proportional to 1 divided by concentration of A2 to the power of n minus 1. This is equation number 2. Divide the equation 1 and 2. What happens the equation? T1 divided by T2 equals 1 divided by concentration of A1 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 1 divided by concentration of A2 to the power of n minus 1. In next step, here 1 divided by concentration of A to the power of n minus 1 will be written upside. Then the what happens the equation? T1 divided by T2 equals 1 divided by concentration of A1 to the power of n minus 1 into concentration of A2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 1. Here 1 1 is cancelled. What happens the equation? T1 divided by T2 equals concentration of A2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by concentration of A1 to the power of n minus 1. Here n minus 1 will be taken as a common then the equation becomes t1 divided by t2 equals concentration of a2 divided by a1 to the power of n minus 1. Taking logarithm on both sides what happens the equation log t1 divided by t2 equals log concentration of a2 divided by a1 to the power of n minus 1. Next, what happens? Here n minus 1 is will be written this side. What happens? Log t1 divided by t2 equals n minus 1 log concentration of a2 divided by a1. Next, what happens? E n minus 1 will be take will be written in right hand side. What happens the equation? Then here log a concentration of a2 divided by a1 will be taken as a left hand side that is denominator what happens the equation log t1 divided by t2 divided by log concentration of a2 divided by a1 equals n minus 1 here n is uh, here 1 is uh, written in the uh, right hand side what happens here minus 1 will be uh, converted into plus what happens the equation n is equal to 1 plus log uh, t1 divided by t2 divided by log concentration of a2 divided by a1. By plotting the graph of uh, uh, x uh, versus t here for initial concentration of a2 this is this line is for the initial concentration of a1 at t1 this uh, another line is initial concentration of a2 at time 2 from this value that is t1 and t2 and a, a, a2 and a1 value we can calculate the n value that is order of reaction that is n order of reaction we can calculate it thank you